Hey, what's going on there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Leggett here representing Team JVS. I'm back again for another movie review. The name of this movie is called The News of the World. Now, this is directed by um, Paul Greengrass. Most notable probably is Green Zone and most of the Jason Bourne films. And this is starring the great and amazing Tom Hanks playing a captain yet again with Captain Jefferson and a newcomer in Helen Zegel playing the role of Cicada or Joanna. Now, this does have other actresses and actresses in it. They've got uh, Mary Winningham, um, they got Ray McKinnon, um, and they also have uh, Neil uh, Sandalis um, in this as well. Um, but this is the synopsis of it. A Civil War veteran agrees to, gr to deliver a girl taken by the Kauai people years ago to find her aunt and uncle against her will. They travel hundreds of miles in place of grave dangers as they search for a place that either can call home. Now, one of the things that I loved about this is the connection of um, the main character that is Tom Hanks and the captain and this little girl because the captain comes from a place where he's very much so married but he came from the military then he decided to go and do this thing where he reports the news like he goes from town to town and actually reads out the news to people and the whole point behind him actually doing that is to bring about understanding comprehension and connection like a lot of people can't read a lot of people don't have any kind of distinction of what's going on outside they only have their own embedded problems or issues with what's going on here and look upon the people in the north or the south with disdain or distress or fear and his whole point in doing this even though he's not getting paid that much is to bring about great stories and understanding and they they use that in space i'll get to that in a second but then the other side of that coin though is why didn't he go back home why didn't he go back to his wife? And then you have this little girl and Joanna. And Joanna um, had her own family initially, much like him, but she was stolen from her family and then made to live this other life with um, this Native American group of people. Then when they interact and they intersect, like she's no longer with them either. And the first time they intersect, there's this very harsh scene of violence that kind of um, Tom Hanks Jefferson comes in contact with before he even sees her. And when he finds her, she's like kicking and screaming and like biting him and he's just trying to calm him down. But then they look each other in the eyes and there's something that happens there from a magical standpoint that from this point forward, they are pushed in their destinies are not just intertwined but they are pivoting off of each other perfectly because they are without knowing in the same exact boat they are both individuals that are formless they have a void in their heart but at the same exact time they need an understanding of connection and belonging and a place and they neither one of them have it and I just loved it. Like, I really did love their connective tissue. Um, I have to give this little girl all the accolades because much like, you know, in the past, like Anna Paquin or um, Natalie Portman in um, The Professional, um, she finds ways of communication and eye movement and like, distance you know in the way that she comes across that she does not come across as a little girl she comes across as a legit young woman and the way that she interacts with Tom Hanks's character or doesn't interact with him or the way she projects out because she's not exactly a nomadic person she's not all the time very wild she's very particular and yet at the same time very distant and very introverted and very morbid but at the same time, very carefree and very lively, if you understand what she's saying. And the other thing is, there's a dialect disconnect there. And he's the type of person that, once you get to know him, he's a very good man. 
but he has his own battling issues, which also connects them even further, which makes the story progress even more evenly. Because from the point that he interacts with her, they're met with death. They're met with opposition. And it just platforms from that point, from location to location, whatever person they meet, whether it's a good person, whether it's a bad person, whether it's a good group, whether it's a, a bad group, um, there's always tension and opposition disconnecting them, but forcing them right back together. And it's classic. I mean, one of the things I used to love back in the 90s and the 80s is the way that they platformed a lot of these westerns. And another thing I got to give um, the director kudos on is not just the pacing and the progression of these characters symbiotically, but also the layout of the land. Like, it really did feel like one of those old westerns. Like, without it being, like, too close panned out shot or too cringy, it, it, like, there's this one panned out shot that happens um early on in the film and just the scope of it and then the 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 different movements and the imagery and all the sets like it really felt like it was really in that specific place and it just happened to have tom hanks in the situation where he is you know the man you know what i'm saying and i i really do love what they were able to do um with the pacing and the progression of the story because it does bode well later on when tensions really start to happen because with each one of these interactions even though you know some interactions are okay some interactions were really dangerous and destructive and you didn't know if it was going to go one way or another there was tension there was a consistent feeling of tension and i think that when i think back to a lot of the jason Bourne films one of the things i loved about those fight scenes is that there was continuous tension and not just even in the fight scenes, but the knowledge that Jason Bourne was understanding about himself. The danger he was consistently in. And that is here in this one. This is not an action film, though. The, the, the choreographed action scenes that they do have are exciting or good, but this is not a continuous action film. So don't think that is the... It's more so along the lines of these, these two individuals intersecting in life and understanding not just about each other, but understanding something about themselves that's really truly needed and missing. And I think that's one of the, beauty, the beauties and strong feats about this film um, as you're going along with it. By the end of the film, I personally started to well up with tears in my eyes because they both at one point or time are having to face their past. One of the quotes that happens early on is um, Tom Hanks has kept on progressing and talking about a straight line. Continue life on a straight line. Don't look back. And, you know, like I said, the character Joanna, uh, she looks at things outwardly. Like, life is its own continuous span. And one of the things she countered to that, what he said going in a straight line, is that you can go past the past, but you can't forget it or else you won't move forward. And that is foreshadowing because they both are met with that at the worst opportune times. And at the worst times that they really can't rely on each other to deal with their own um, personal issues. And I love that. I really did enjoy this film. Um, I don't really have too many negatives about it. I mean, because I was worried that a lot of times when, you know, he would go to the towns and talk about the news, that it was going to be just really dry and really boring. But no, it was actually very informative. It was actually very compelling um, because you understood that him just reading in the news wasn't just, you know, them reading the news. Like, when we look at the news now, we kind of look at it like, man, this is, like, so depressing. <laughs> like, why are we going to look at the news? Because we have all these outsourced things, and there's always this agenda, you know, coming out of the way the news is even being pushed out from different... That's why so many different news outlets, instead of just one central focus, just giving us what's really happening. But his motivation in doing this is to bring people awareness, connection, an understanding of one another, whether they're in the South, whether they're in the West, um, whether in the North, whether they're in the East, like his whole point was to bring people awareness and understanding at his own expense. And even with this little girl with him, like he stuck to that. And there's a level of conviction there and there's a level of heart there that I felt like was very fascinating that only somebody like Tom Hanks could really be able to pull out naturally like that. And there's this one scene, honestly, in the back half that I was like, man, Tom Hanks, you, you, you realize that he is a legend. But the fact that this young lady um, <laughs> is able to even connect with him and bring out things in Tom Hanks that I really haven't seen in a long time. I was like, 
this is magic as well. Like she, she is gonna be a beast. Like she is very good in this film. And I have to give her all the kudos as well as the director and his direction and the way that these characters are progressing. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. Um, I would leave this at a 9.5 out of 10. I really don't have any critiques with it. Um, yeah, I don't have anything. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed this review. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. God bless them, guys. Peace.